Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This is going to be talking about affirmations. What are the most powerful affirmations? How should you be using them? And how to go about getting the most out of your affirmation routine. So we're going to touch on that today. I think this is a really important topic. Obviously, it's the foundation and basics of using law of assumption. So do stay tuned to hear my advice and all the feedback and everything you need to know about these affirmations. And you can also work with me. If you feel like you need extra support, you are maybe struggling or you just have questions and concerns about what you're manifesting and affirmations themselves, this is something I work directly with my clients on. So you can actually start with just £2.99 a month for my monthly membership. Take a look at everything you get included there. It's very, very affordable and inexpensive. And then if you want extra kind of more personalized one-to-one -one support, you can pay a little bit more via my one-to-one -one coaching on the website linked below in the description box. That is my new coaching website. Everything to do with my coaching products is now sold there. I do actually have some interesting and exciting discounts and offers available. So you want to take a look to make the most of that. And now let's start the video. The first step with utilizing affirmations and getting the most out of it for yourself is to affirm for exactly what you want. So don't hold yourself back. Don't think you have to do it a certain way or that um, you have to affirm in steps or you can't use certain wording because of the circumstances. Like don't overanalyze it. Just say, say to yourself in your mind and get clear on what those goals are. This is what I want to manifest. This is my end result and outcome. And you know, I want my SP to be in love with me. I want to get married to my SP. I want to win the lottery. I, you know, whatever it may be, go to that end result, go to that goal. Why would you hold yourself back? Why use manifestation and, you know, kind of consciously utilize it to your benefit, but then say, oh, but I, I'll only do it for this little thing. Go, you know, all the way. So if you don't affirm for exactly what you want, chances are you're not gonna really connect with your affirmations. It's not gonna get you exactly what you want. You're gonna have to change them eventually and you'll probably get the desire to change them. So I do have other videos that talk about when and how should you actually be changing your affirmations, but you'll probably get that desire if you're not connecting with and really affirming for what it is that you want and need. I would also say don't overwhelm yourself with the wording. Don't think you have to word it in exactly a specific way. My advice to my clients is always short and concise. I, you know, I give a lot of suggestions via my coaching as well, but just affirm for what you want basically. Like that is the simple basic rule when it comes to affirming. Um, so I will go into a couple of like more random examples um, to give you guys some ideas as well, but basically don't overwhelm it. Keep it relatively short to the point. That's why I said get clear as the first step on what it is you want to manifest what it is that you're going to be creating um, because you know just go straight to the end I have this I am this you don't want to go too intense with the words because if you make it super super long then I just it's my opinion obviously it will still manifest but it's just going to take a lot longer if you take a minute to say one affirmation that, you know or like 20 seconds you're only going to be able to say it at not even a handful of times in a minute versus saying it, you know, 20, 30 times because it's short and concise. So yeah, try not to make it super long and don't overwhelm yourself thinking that you have to go into crazy descriptive detail, you don't. So basically when in doubt, just apply the method, the shorter, the better, just simple and to the point. So as I said, don't hold yourself back, um, go straight to for what you want, you're doing this for yourself with yourself, you know, it's not something that you're going and presenting to a room of a thousand people. Who cares what people would think or how crazy it may seem? It's for your own benefit, for the sake of achieving your goals in life, right? So don't push, hold yourself back. Try and push beyond, um, you know, the boundaries of your conscious mind and exaggerate your affirmations, actually. I would say you can even exaggerate the wording. Again, not, not that you have to make a really elaborate statement and affirmation, but you can exaggerate it. So for example, instead of saying SP is texting me, you could say SP is madly, crazily in love with me. 
and that's still a pretty short um, to the point affirmation, but you've exaggerated it. So you've said, not only are they reaching out to me, they're like, so, they're like basically obsessed with me. They love me. Um, you know, I'm their one true love. That's kind of, you know, going to that extent. So you can exaggerate your affirmations and that's going to be even more powerful to your mind, the visuals that it will incite. And it could lead to even more extensive movement and more exaggerated movement coming into your 3D reality. So I'm just going to read out a list on my phone now, um, as I said, some example affirmations. This is not just for the exaggerated, this is just to give you an example of really powerful affirmations, some of my personal favourites, um, and how to word them in a really simple way. I'm the most beautiful woman, I'm everyone's top priority, SP is madly in love with me, I get everything I want instantly, SP calls and texts me all day long. So that's kind of exaggerated examples, but also really simple to the point, but like going to the full end result, right? So yes, you can affirm in steps, and I have discussed this in previous videos. My personal opinion and advice for my clients has always been to just go straight to the end. Um, you, you don't have to affirm in steps, and usually it's because maybe people are thinking, oh, well, the circumstances are like this, so I should just affirm for this. It will be easier, it will be quicker. But really, I would just say go straight to the end. If, that, if there's an idea of exactly what it is you want, a visual that implies, you know, this is my ideal outcome, just affirm for that. Go straight to that end result. The power of the affirmations really does come from convincing your own mind. You're convincing yourself. You're not changing anyone else. You're changing your own mind and thoughts about other people. And in turn, their behavior and feelings change. But you're not going out and like, molding and shaping someone else. You're shaping your own mind. So the power comes from convincing yourself. You need to saturate your mind, persist, keep going, and just work on your own mindset. That is what is creating the result with the affirmation. Because I could sit here once and say, I'm a multimillionaire. But the power comes from the repetition, saturating my mind, focusing on it over and over every single day, being consistent, and you know, not just the affirmation itself, that's great, that's the perfect starting point, but to keep going and actually create the path in front of you to reach that end result, it's the repetition. So once you have those affirmations, persist and be consistent. Try your best to really loop your affirmations throughout the day. Maybe get on a schedule or a routine. Um, you know, when you, once you know that these are the affirmations that work for you, it's exactly what you want. You can see it in your mind. You can feel like this is the exact result you want. You know, you're confident, you're excited, you're in that kind of mindset. That's amazing. And then you just be consistent with it. It's going to build momentum and build up the power from there. And obviously, to finalize, if you have an old story, that the repetition is even more important. You need to be consistent, keep looping your affirmations because that is what is going to shift from the old story into the new story in your actual physical reality and in your own subconscious mind where the beliefs are gonna start changing. So yeah, if there's anything to take away from this video, it's keep your affirmations short, simple, and concise, and be consistent, loop them. So don't just think of the perfect affirmations, saturate your mind with them. So yeah, that is my advice for today. I'm sure it was useful, but do let me know in the comments and do thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.